Howdy, howdy everyone and welcome back to this tutorial series. Uh, so far we have created our entities, we have added some fields to them, we have added constraints and validation, but we have no data, okay? So it's quite sad. Let's add some entities, some actual data uh, to our model and after that we'll be ready to uh, fetch them from uh, uh, our uh, Next.js application that we scaffolded in the very first lesson of this uh, 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 tutorial series. So, let's start by uh, saying a few things. If you remember, for example, the, the content type job has a relation called company, okay? Which means that when we are adding a job, we need to reference, we, we need to add a reference to the company uh, that is related to that job and it's a required field. What does that say to us? It, me, it, tell, it tells us that uh, as we, when we populate the data in the company in the database in the CMS in this case we need to make sure that prior to creating a job the company that will be the, 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 the company that will be linked to that job needs to be already existing in the database so it tells us that we first need to populate the data starting from the company so that's what we're going to do here let's come to content and let's start adding the, the, the data okay the first company that we're going to create obviously is the company of yours truly uh, lifted ventures limited which is the company um, behind lifted wp okay and the slug is automatically created as you can see here uh, and we're going to put london okay london the logo of the company i've already added some media um to um to um the contentful um CMS, I'm just going to pick one here, lift the WP logo. This is the logo of the company, the cover image. I'm going to add an existing media. Uh, once again, I'm just going to pick one here. This the, um, and then the website, the website of um, Lift Adventures Limited. It's liftedwp.com. So I'm going to put that here and I'm going to click on publish. Okay. All right. What is, uh, what is wrong? input does not match expected format okay i see yeah we had a we had a trailing space there all right i think now that's fine um fantastic right now now it's published okay let's add another one let's add another company let's add another company okay i'm gonna add contentful ink contentful ink okay and uh city you're gonna say san francisco francisco all right contentful let's add an existing media and let's just pick this one it looks more or less the same <laughs> okay uh cover image i'm just gonna use the same one for every company okay and the website is gonna be contentful web contentful website okay that yeah like this and everything should be good right let's add a final company um very quickly uh i'm gonna add um company that i really love here in the uk revolute all right let's add revolute limited okay so city london all right uh let's pick a logo um Right, I'm just gonna pick one that looks more or less the same. Anyway, let's take this one. Um, existing media, same thing, and then Revolute. Revolute. Okay, I'm just going on their website quickly and grab the URL. Add that here. Very good, and then publish. Okay, so very very good now we have three um companies in our model okay now let's add a few jobs the first job let's add is our uh it's a job offered by lifted ventures limited which is lifted wp it's a senior software engineer next js expert okay all right you see the slog is automatically generated right from the go right from from the the, the title okay remote remote okay you remember we have these default uh, values automatically added here um so yes we're happy with that feature job uh yes we want to make it as a feature job base salary salary uh, we want to give the base salary of 100 
hundred thousand uh, a year, hundred thousand GD in Great Britain pounds. Uh, public publish date posted twenty eighth of April. Um, 2022 experience level you see we can only choose between a set of values right we can only add uh you see must match one of these right so it, it kind of it's gonna complain if we don't add something that is uh one of these four values right so now that you have added one that matches it's very happy right same thing here uh it has to be um one of these values so let's put full time okay now it's going to be happy now job category uncategorized we don't want that to be uncategorized so we're going to ask something different I'm going to put software development okay software development very very good and then application link okay i'm going to copy this yeah if you want to contact us that's the link contact us now the job description I'm just going to copy what I have here in my notes for this tutorial. I'm going to copy this, just add this. Remember, this is a rich text, right? So you see here we have some list, we have some um, um, uh, bold and so on. We can even add images and links if you want to, but we are not going to do that here. Now, actually, let's add a link. Let's add a link soon to next year's website. OK, so let's come here. I'm going to copy, click here like this hyperlink and then let's put the link okay link target very good and when you're gonna uh, render this in um, our next year's project you're gonna see that this link is gonna be there that's that's the difference between a rich text and a basic text like the one you're using for title here we can't like have all this like um, HTML rich features like adding a link adding bold elements adding list elements and so on right so that's that's white rich text of four um now we add an about you section okay now job responsibilities okay what the person who is going to succeed in the job application is going to do okay and then finally the re not not finally the remuneration package okay remuneration package and finally we are going to add the company all right so company let's choose uh oh no what have i done no let's let's uh yes no it has to be an existing company remove okay add content add existing content yeah i don't want to create something i want to get one here like this lift adventures very good that's what you want to add now here job um actually it's this is this is an interesting issue right we want this field to be required uh, i don't know if it was a good idea to put it as required because when you are creating the and the job for the first time you don't necessarily know especially if you have nothing in the database yet i think it, it was a mistake uh, and as you see uh, it was a mistake to put it this field as required so what we're going to do um in this case i'm going to save this as a draft okay it's saved as a draft at the moment and i'm going to go back to the content model okay and i'm going to um to make that constraint uh optional Okay, it's not a good idea to, to make it as required. So let me change that here in validation. I'm going to change that here like this. I think it's, it's better to put it this way. Okay. And hopefully when I refresh here, it doesn't destroy everything we did. All right. Very good. All right. You see, now, it, now it's optional, right? So, all right. I think here we are good to go. We can add if you want to, but we we can leave it empty if you if we want to as well i think that's that was a mistake in the previous tutorial uh that we were easily we were easily able to fix now let me publish this job okay very good now we have the job posted um this company is a dummy company that was created let me delete this permanently delete okay so now we have a job um and 
a couple of um, uh, companies created. Now to make things a bit faster, I'm just going to create one more job um, um, and I'm going to duplicate the existing one and just change it from there. Okay. So uh, senior uh, um, machine learning engineer, senior AI engineer, uh, TensorFlow, TensorFlow expert. Okay. Let's change that. Okay, so we're going to add this, so you see, uh, the stock auto-generated, we don't need to change anything. Feature job, no, uh, 120. Uh, here, they posted, same thing, senior, full-time. Uh, let's put actually here, let's put part-time. Or oh, let's put contract, contract, uh, contract like this okay job category uh ai ai uh, ai okay if the wp um let's put here yeah, let's put revolute or oh, maybe one sec revolute. one sec get the link on the website careers all right copy the link this is a job posted by revolute i'm gonna leave everything as the same just for for types also time uh reasons i'm gonna remove what we have here and then add an existing one i'm gonna pick revolute okay all right and that's how you create another company um another job right i'm not going to bore you with uh, uh doing more of this i'm going to add uh many many other jobs um um in, in, in the background so that when we start doing the the, the pooling uh from um from next years we have a lot of a lot of data to to work with and um the the ui looks great and populated with a lot of content so i'm going to do that uh off camera i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new and uh, i see you in the next one thank you very much bye